Yeah, hello everybody. My name is Chi Zhou. I'm the founder of Ether Storage. Today I will going to present our talk on the future of Web3, paving the way to the fully end-to-end -end fully decentralized web. So what is the current status of decentralized web? So we have a decentralized access protocol like IPFS, and we also have a mature P2P network layer, and which we are able to retrieve the data. And we also have the incentivized storage layer that helps to keep the data uh, uh, consistency. However, there are still great limitation of current uh, decentralized sto story solutions. First, those story solution has a uh, great limit on uh, the semantics. In many work for static files, which means that it's very inefficient to update and delete those existing files, even just a single byte that is changed. And then further, there, there's no way to compose the, this data in a centralized, a decentralized way. So sometimes we have to, to rely on centralized server. Second is that all these projects, they have their ecosystem, which means that users have to use their wallets, tokens, and addresses in order to be able to upload those files to their uh, systems. Um, so with these problems, we are projecting what the features that we need in the future Web3. First, we need a rich storage semantics in a decentralized storage, which can cr uh, support create, update, delete blobs for very, very large amount, potentially petabytes. Further, it can be programmable by smart contracts so that can easily compose all data uh, with the logic on of the smart contract running on Ethereum. And second is that we want to simplify the user of body, which means that the user just using the Ethereum wallet pay Ethereum and is able to upload and basically uh, store a large amount of data on top of the whole Ethereum network. And lastly, we need to have a new access protocol that is able to render those dynamic data uh, from uh, from end to the blockchain and the storage uh, without any centralized identity. So what's the solution? Um, thanks to the latest development of Ethereum technologies, we believe that we are now at a position that we can achieve these goals in the near future. First of all, we have data availability thanks to dank sharding, which greatly increased the data upload speed using advanced cryptographic cement, uh, primitives. And second is that we are able to build uh, external data retention network so that we only store corresponding metadata on Ethereum and be able to store large amount of data in this layer two network. And we just periodically submit the proof of storage into the Ethereum mainnet so that it tells that everybody can check the actual data, the latest data is kept in the network uh, with high replication. And lastly, we also develop a Web3 access protocol, which is able to decentralizedly access those web objects hosted by smart contracts. So this is a Web3 access protocol, which is defined by ERC4804, which is a way, a way to render web objects hosted by smart contract. It's very similar to HTTP, so that you can inherit all the good benefits of HTTP, while we are able to identify a resource that hosted by smart contract and further uh, access the underlying storage layer that we built. And the Ether storage is a layer two solutions that aims to scale Ethereum storage rather than computation. And so here is a quick comparison of what Ether storage can do versus Filecoin, Aurie, and the default storage solutions of uh, Ethereum. And with this infrastructure, we believe that we are able to enable a lot of new applications. For example, trusted website hosting like Uniswap Curve or dynamic NFT, which we are, we are able to change the uh, presentation of image dynamically. And we are also be able to build decentralized social network, such as decentralized Twitter, media, or even decentralized Dropbox. So here I will give a demo. Um, let me see, okay. This is my Firefox browser that oh, supports that 3 URL. So now let's have a that 3 URL. Let's just call the ETH uh, that we register at ENS that points to uh, the smart contract that hosts our uh, front end. So all the images, HTML, uh, CSS, JavaScript, now uh, hosted by the smart contract and returned by this uh, Web3 access protocol. So there are also a couple of uh, interesting examples, for example, decentralized Dropbox. So this is also a homepage that returned by the smart contract, another smart contract. 
and we can see I can see the all the list all the previous files have been uploaded before and in order to upload a new file what I should do is just drop the file and then it will ask me to sign a transaction via MetaMask. So during the whole procedure, we don't need to require any additional uh, tool such as CLI. CLI. And once the transaction uh, is confirmed by the network, I can access the file uh, also via Web3 access protocol. Um, so the file has been uploaded, so we are able to access. So it's still a gateway, but we can still use the Web3 access protocol. And the corresponding uh, file list is also updated accordingly, thanks to smart contract. Um, so this is an example for decentralized um, Starbucks. There are also a couple of other examples like Web3 decentralized block, uh, dynamic NFT, uh, etc. So welcome to play. Yeah, um, so there are a lot of more details of our te te technology that are built. So we have an after party in this uh, afternoon and in the nearby uh, Hilton Hotel. Um, feel free to come. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions. Yes, you, you listed four, you, you've made comparison of yeah. four systems, but you forgot to mention Swarm. Yeah, actually I, I talked to Swarm people a few days ago. Um, so Swan actually has a similar architecture as FFS, which is using uh, content addressing to uh, basically uh, locate a file. And also it has a way to basically call dynamic hash to be able to locate the latest version of file. But at the same time, right now, I don't think it has the programmability with the smart contract, which is able to modify and able to compose all the data purely on chain. And that's something we really want to enable. And second is that or who the design is using Ether. So basically the data providers will be paid by the uh, Ether and also the users will pay the Ether to storage those content. So it's a highly coupled with the Ethereum um, with the basically uh, native support.